Hi, welcome to the latest episode of Economics vs Everything. Today we are going to be talking about Wakanda, which is a country that I'm sure most of you are aware of. So, some things that you probably already know about Wakanda is that Wakanda is a fictional African nation that was featured in Avengers and the Black Panther movie. It's located in East Africa and is super super rich. It has sophisticated technology and they own this very valuable resource called Vibranium. But yet they do not trade in Vibranium in the export market. Wakanda also try to maintain a very low profile with the rest of the world. So not many people know what Wakanda uh, does. To keep Vibranium safe, the Wakandans vowed to hide in plain sight. Keeping the truth of their power from the outside world. So I absolutely love the movie. And I think that the movie has great graphics, it has great plot. But I see a problem with the economics in Wakanda. My understanding of economics here tells me that Wakanda's level of prosperity is highly unlikely. Hey Cap, we got a situation here. There's a concept in A-level economics that we learned is called the theory of comparative advantage. The theory of comparative advantage tells us that countries should trade. Now, even if Wakanda has an absolute advantage in the production of everything, which definitely seems to be the case because if we look at Wakanda, they have superior technology in producing almost everything. The Wakandans used vibranium to develop technology more advanced than any other nation. Even if they have absolute advantage in the production of everything, they should not be a closed economy. They should try to export what they have a comparative advantage in and import what they do not have a comparative advantage in. Examples of things that they have a comparative advantage in would be, um, of course, by, by premium. The strongest substance in the universe. The superior medical technology, superior transport technology that they have. These are things that they should export. So Wakanda has vibranium, but it doesn't make sense that they have an abundance of all other resources and they should import what they will incur a high opportunity cost in production, perhaps maybe agriculture. Is Wakanda self sufficient in things like um, timber? If they don't want to export vibranium and they don't want to export most of the things that they have, then how do they obtain sufficient amount of foreign currency so that they can buy goods and services from abroad? That is something that doesn't make quite a lot of sense to me. It can't be the case that Wakanda has absolutely everything and can produce everything on their own. Wakanda in the real world would be like Brunei perhaps because Brunei is also a resource-rich country. Uh, in this case, not vibranium, it produces oil. And Brunei is one of the countries with a very high GDP per capita. In Brunei, oil is related sector account for more than half of Brunei's GDP. So we are quite clear that you know oil has played a very large role in developing Brunei's economy. If Wakanda existed in the real world, its story will unfold somewhat like Brunei. It's never like at all. In the real world, if Wakanda was exporting vibranium, it would have probably suffered from this problem or what we call the Dutch disease problem. Now since Wakanda would have ex been exporting a lot of vibranium in the real world, Wakanda dollar will appreciate significantly because of people wanting to buy Wakanda dollar so that they can buy this vibranium. So the Wakanda dollar will be very strong. But if the Wakanda dollar is very strong, it makes Wakanda exports in other areas. So say for example, if Wakanda was exporting some other form of um, steel or aluminum, export competitiveness in these other sectors will decrease. Wakanda will be heavily dependent on um, vibranium as part of its trade and its economy will be entirely dependent on vibranium and this would mean that Wakanda will be very vulnerable to external shocks. I have three suggestions for the Wakanda government. The first suggestion would be to export vibranium selectively. And two is to avoid the Dutch disease by investing in other sectors like perhaps they could you know, start investing in tourism, allow some of us to actually uh, visit Wakanda. And lastly is to stop being selfish and share the cure for cancer. So thank you for watching today's episode of Economics vs Everything. I'm Eugene and I'm from Economics Education Genius.